big deal. <laughs> Dude, check that out. That is awesome. All right, guys, sorry for interrupting the video. That's just a little teaser of what's gonna happen here in Kodiak in the next couple videos. Um, it was an amazing trip. Huge thanks to Exo Mountain Gear and Steve Speck for putting the whole thing together. Uh, it's been one of my best friends for a long time and it was pretty special to get to spend some time together again. It's been a, it's been a while, too long. But I want to interrupt you real quick on why I'm interrupting this video. It's the Pacific Northwest Sportsman Show. It's in Portland, Oregon, February 16th through the 20th. We've got a giant booth. It's huge, like 130 feet by 60. Huge area. Bunch of other brands. Uh, Exo will be there. Hanwag Boots, Sig, Onyx, Mountain House, Dive Bomb, Born Race Call Co., all of our new turkey calls, uh, waterfowl calls, elk calls like that. That's all going to be there. But we're also doing some really cool things there with the Pacific Northwest Show with the O'Loughlin's. We've got a live Q&A podcast Wednesday at 7 p.m. And then also a seminar Friday at 7 p.m. So come by, hang out, visit the booth. We're bringing a whole trailer full of all of our uh, deer and elk from years past. Um, we're putting everything we can on display there. So you guys can come check it out. Trent's Bowl is going to be there. Um, just lots of really cool things that uh, maybe you get to see in person now, not just in a video. Um, with that, I will let you guys go. Here's my take on Kodiak, Alaska and how special of a place it is. If you guys get the opportunity, go. Just do yourself a favor and go. So back to the video. Thanks. See ya. Guys, welcome to Alaska. We're here, finally. <laughs> Dude, it's, uh, yeah, this is going to be the funnest week ever. There's going to be a lot of laughs over yeah. the next seven days. So, uh, Steve put this whole thing together with the crew and yeah. the whole works. No. I planned this a year ago, yeah. yeah. We came here in 2019, Mark and a buddy of mine, Mike, so there's three of us, and we had such a good time. We're like, we're coming back, and when we do, we're going to bring as many guys as we can, because it's the funnest week you could possibly have. Yeah. yeah, so fins feather fur. So we got fishing, we got some sea duck stuff, and uh, Sitka blacktail. Sitka blacktail are on, on the number one list. Everyone has two, so yeah. uh, eight hunters, yeah. Yeah, 16 tags. <laughs> That's you laying some bucks down when you put that. it like that and put it on paper. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we're here at Foxtail Lodge. Uh, Jerry, who's actually from, I think, Oregon, Washington. Oregon, uh, yeah. Yeah, Rafe and Nolan. I'm just super stoked. The weather changed snowed here at the lodge last night and uh it's cold like we're putting some layers on i'm gonna go check the guns and eat some breakfast eat some breakfast yeah get some food we're hungry and yeah super excited to be here can't thank steve enough for making this whole thing happen and we got some prototypes stuff, yeah new stuff don't don't get too excited about what you see it's just a work in process mm -hmm. and could completely change but we're definitely testing prototypes love it Going hot. Dead center of the circle. Yeah, it is. That'll work for killing one at 20 yards. Yeah. One and done, I like it. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, this is some awesome country. We ask that you watch over us. We're going to drop down into some nasty stuff. We pray that, Lord, that you keep us safe. Thank you for. Uh, Giving us life. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Just save your breath, cause you know one time you dug a hole but never learn how to climb. Oh, you made the bed you lay in, and I'm here to say Good morning guys, day one here. Um, I was just trying to think like how to explain what this trip is. And I guess this is kind of like the Sheridan Motel, right? Marriott. <laughs> we got a suite, two room suite. And uh, we got the Uber boat. 
and the Uber boat's gonna take us where we wanna go. Pretty much, there's eight of us here. Uh, we're gonna split up hunting twos this morning, and it's really just, uh, we get a look at the maps, and uh, Foxtail Lodge is like a transporter, so we just say, hey, we kind of want to hunt here, uh, and they're going to drop us off, and basically drop us off right on the beach as it's getting shooting light, and we'll go hunt all day, and then, you know, we were kind of talked about last night, it was pretty much a firm cutoff where you better kill something by like 3.30, because by the time you kill it, find it, cut it up, get it packed up, you want to be back down to the beach um, by the time it's, the you know, why you still have light. I had, I was here by myself on a hunt, and it got dark, and you don't want to be out there in the dark. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's uh, you know brown bears everywhere, and more than that, navigating through the thick, thick brush. Like it's just when you can't see 50, 100 yards in front of you to kind of pick your route through it. It's it's a mess. So um, yeah, we're gonna have fun. I'm predicting that we're at least kill four bucks today. No one's gonna be super picky. We're just gonna go out there and have fun and pile them up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here? I'm ready. But I'm going with uh, the guy that's got the most techs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Load up. Anticipation is high. Bucks are going to die. <laughs> this boat is awesome. I'm excited to be back. It feels I know. familiar. It does. All right, first four are gonna go right here. We got an outgoing tide, so you gotta kind of be quick about it. Probably just kind of stage about to, to where the pilot's chair is at right here. And then when I get on the beach, I'll drop the door and you guys just go off the front. Okay. Just kind of have everything ready to go. It's, you can't describe it, you just have to come here. <laughs> I feel like a rookie hunter today. I'm so frazzled I left my phone, which has phone scope, so I can film with the binoculars and get good footage on X. And then if I need to change wind, window, <laughs> all the things. All but the I, have my wind, I have my wind meter, we can sync in. All the things. I'm just. I remember my first time. Yeah, I remember my first time hunting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm out of shape already. I haven't really a hikes in September. So a month behind. Steve hikes like six miles every day. He's gonna be running like a gazelle off these mountains. Oh, feels good, it's crisp, cold, it's loud, so just take your time slow. Okay, so we just split up for Mark and Jake. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun, kill some deer. They're everywhere. We already ran into two does right off the boat. So it's really just a matter of moving slow and, you know, you, you got rifles, but it's gonna be like a 50 yard shot for the next few hours. We're just gonna move through this brush. There's a big lake up here. I'm gonna hug the right side of it. Um, yeah, so awesome. Here we see it's just so quiet and the snow is so loud they're just kind of bumping in front of us so it's starting to open up and we're gonna try to get to a spot where we can sit and watch a little bit there's deer all around us there's tracks just found a buck he's up on top of that ball knob looks nice
see if I can get the angle. I'm just gonna wait for him to walk in that opening. That's the bug down. Uh, they're just supposed to stand there. I can't see the bug from here. It's just to the right. That was just standing to the left. We're just waiting for this bug to step out. Cody's in the gun. He's laid prone. He's pretty soon gonna be freezing his butt off because it's cold and he's laying in the snow. The buck's got like his sixth sense going on, like he's just standing there for probably five minutes. We just need him to take literally two steps forward, four or five feet, and then he's done. Beautiful morning in Alaska. You got him. I heard that hit. No, I see him. Oh, oh I, saw, I saw him. Saw him down, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude, watch this. A bald eagle's gonna fly through the. If that's not America. <laughs> yes! Uh, I saw him just. I saw, I saw a tail. Him tumbled, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Dude! <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Nice shot. Thanks, man. Tripod and the Arca Rail, man. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, once I got under my pack, I just had to like slow my breathing down because I was like hovering yeah. every time I breathed with, against the pack. I heard that. I heard that. Thump. Yeah. Like, I, like <clears throat> you got him. Yeah, last I saw it was like right in the bottom of the. Draw. Tail down. <laughs> Let's go cut up a deer. Yeah! So what's crazy is the yardage that I shot this gun last, 480 yards. Really? Yeah, that's what I shot the gong at three times. The last three times I shot this gun, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh. Right. On that bush. Yeah, it is steeper than I thought. You're like a quarter of the way. Oh, this is just, we were just talking like, how many people actually get to experience Alaska with weather like this? Yeah. You know? Unbelievable. Just beautiful. Low wind, sunny, snow, crisp and just beautiful. Feel blessed. We're both talking for 480 yards. It's the longest 480 yard climb I've ever had. <laughs> this never does it justice on camera. But it's pretty steep. Pretty steep. He's down here somewhere. Yeah, dead buck. Oh yeah. Man, that had me worried. Like <laughs> seeing blood. Oh yeah. He just slid down to see right here. Okay. Just, just slid in the snow. Slid. Heck yeah. Gotta oh. shoot a deer like that, huh? <laughs> Woo!
thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, first uh, six blacktail. Like body size, they're not small, dude, dude. They're just like a blacktail home. Broke his leg. Yeah, uphill. He freaking drilled them, dude. Yeah. Uphill, yeah, that's perfect. Dude, they are not small deer. No, they're not. Everyone keeps saying they're all small deer. And I'm like, no. They're shorter legs. Yeah. Three by three with an eye guard. You gotta <laughs> take it. <laughs> Sweet, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Let's uh, slide him down to this nice little bench right there. So guys, we talk about like when you watch Land of the Free and elk hunting, like getting out of your comfort zone. And this is one of those like, it's Alaska, it's Kodiak, there's bears, there's weather, all these different variables that I've never really dealt with before hunting down the lower 48. And, it's just pretty surreal coming up here and having Steve, my best friend, you know, just cherish the time that we get to spend together. We got families, we got businesses, and so we don't get to spend as much time as we used to together. So the moments that we do, it's just one of those very special anymore. So I'm just uh, full, of, full of blessed feelings, thankful right now. This buck's going to go home and feed the family and yeah, just cherish this. So it's, it's another one of those things. If you guys ever want to do it, it's, it's honestly like, I thought it was pretty scary. Steve luckily handled the logistics on it, but uh, it's pretty cool. The opportunities that you can have and we'll have a nice cabin tonight and it's safe and warm and dry. And yeah, we back here. We're going to take care of this. Probably go down to the beach. We'll see. We, we definitely have been told like don't just shoot a buck early and leave it and come back to deal with it later because the bears we saw two different sets of, or two tracks probably the same bear just off the beach so there's definitely and they were size mega large so <laughs> we don't want to mess around with that got the 10 if i need to bust a cap but don't want to do that and maybe later this week after steve kills a buck we might hunt deer with the pistol i think that's gonna be pretty fun so i've been shooting it at 50 yards pretty amazing when you do the red dot so let's take care of this sucker and get done get back down there so Alaska and it doesn't matter I usually do this anywhere we're at though is we you take ribs tenderloin back straps all the quarters neck meat all the way gone brisket Got it all. Got a three point. My buddy JD Ponciano, which JD, miss you, brother. Um, appreciate he, the advice he said shoot the first three point you got a chance at. <laughs> I saw three point. Yeah. Uh, loaded up. I actually have a fair bit of weight for a deer. <laughs> we got a steep descent, trekking pulls, take it slow. Carcass is good. A lot of cockerated rock in the tin. <laughs> Hopefully no bears come after us. I feel good about it though. Nice work, Steve. Just feeling guided here, like, oh yeah, I killed my buck right here. And then we spot a deer from about where you shot your buck. <laughs> really close. Yeah. Yeah. Climbed up here and got her done. What time is it? 12 o'clock. Yeah, we yeah. just took her time. It's nice, enjoyable. Poke around and kill another one. Speed's up. Got old Jakey in the uh, heavy pack of little rat club. Yeah. Buck down. There's a big old bear down there. Yes, there is a bear. Big old bear. How's that go? 30 minutes ago, oh, okay. he was like right where the woods meet the lake right here and coming through. Really big bear. We only saw one buck on the other side and then mine just right on this hillside. Yeah. I had one in the scope twice up top and he was just moving. Thanks, man. That was awesome. He made, made a perfect shot. Like 260. With the angle coming. Super yeah. Like we were at the top. Yeah. And we 
we were getting ready to go off the back side, and I was like, ah, before we do, let me peek over here. And I saw some does really low, and I saw this buck. So I had to run back, and I was like, Jake, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I made a perfect shot. The team born raised in Exo, two for two. Awesome. Pretty awesome. I gotta say, this new uh, prototype is pretty rad. Feels good. Mark, that was day one. Awesome day one. Helped Jake kill a buck. Was in the scope a few times on other bucks. Saw a giant bear, fox. Got to the top and just had an amazing view. Coolest place on earth. Yeah. yeah. Today was a good day. Was, yeah. Uh, yeah, tried my patience going through the brush. <laughs> and, uh, it's like back home. Huh? Pretty much, a little different, but the same. Yeah. Um, we passed on a couple of really nice bucks we probably shouldn't have passed on. So we might be eating that one at the end of the week. Yeah, there's more days. It was fun to sit there and glass them up. Let's do it. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go get another one. Make it two. Side hill 
it's just, it's really brushy in spots. What we need. Yeah, the, the hope is we're kind of pushing deer. And kind of like come over a little rise and get a vantage point. But the brush is 15 feet tall in places. So not exactly using it to our advantage with the rifles here. It's just a matter of time. There's deer everywhere. Yeah. Cody and I have been hunting all morning. That's, I think it's 11 o'clock now, but just haven't had, just kind of been in a bad spot the whole time, just learning the country. Uh, we kind of either go back that way or drop down. We decided we're going to drop down and side hill and glass up all this, but we basically got cliffed out right here. So we either I turn back or drop down. It's steep, it's steeper than it looks. <laughs> Coming all the back there, I was like, man, packing a buck out of this. Yeah. We'd be a little sporting. Yeah. I'm not a sheep dweller, a sheep country dweller. <laughs> <laughs> These size 14 don't really get a good grip, surprisingly. <laughs> you got a lot of surface area, dude. Yeah, you know, think that's working your advantage. <laughs> you can't get in on those nooks and crannies. <laughs> well, we're gonna go kill a buck. I like it. I'm good. He's going down. Dead deer. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot, Steve. Down. Down. I got both angles. Got you shooting down on the top. <laughs> Master cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little two point. Yeah. I will take it. Meat on the pole. <laughs> with a brown bear within <laughs> you know, <I> <laughs> We'll go get up my deer. an awesome experience. Really cool. 
It reminds me of blacktail, late season blacktail hunting with a bow back home. But you got a gun in your hands. And uh, you're hunting blacktail. It's just a little bit steeper and a little thicker. And brown bears. a heck of a sando. Turkey and ham, cheddar, and mayonnaise, and spicy mustard. I'm kind of weird, I haven't had yesterday was my first piece of bread in three months, three and a half months. <laughs> We're just sitting here waiting, kind of giving my deer some time. And a nice little three point and two does are running around. The does came by and then hundred yards behind it, the buck just running nose up in the air, just sniffing. It's just freaking cool to watch. National Geographic. National Net Geo. Big old crud. Steve just had her big buck. They turn into a rodeo, unfortunately. Okay. All right, we you stuck it out, we played it right. Played it right, gave him some time, and then just moved slow. Obviously, we had the blood trailing to our advantage with the snow. He's dead. He's dead. Oh. 
Oh, dude, he's got a drop tag. Got even cooler. <laughs> Just killing drop tags in Sitka. <laughs> <laughs> Sitka deer. Yeah. All black, black forehead. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, it's just a little two point. Yeah, I guess I'll shoot it. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, pretty. Cool. Ah, well, sorry to make you suffer for a little bit there, buddy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's never fun. But we played it right, we got him. I think if we had not waited, he probably. But it just kept bumping and bumping and bumping yeah. and then we waited long enough that you know he bedded and I mean if, if I was back home I think we would have waited four or five hours right. but just with the brown bears around here we literally saw a brown bear three four hundred yards away well from here is like probably 150 yeah right not far open. so it's like we waited about an hour just followed the blood and, and it's kind of open enough where just got a shot off and not pretty, but what can you do? Yeah. Front shoulder, back quarter, miscellaneous meat, rib meat, neck meat, tenderloin. Gambit. It's really cool. Like Steve and I met in 2009 or 10. 10. I think it was 10. Portland Sportsman Show. We started talking. He, his girlfriend was going to school in Portland at the time, and so he was visiting his girlfriend, but also checking out the show. And randomly just met in the Archers of Field booth of all places, and like struck off a friendship pretty instantly. And yeah, 11 years later, 11 years later <laughs> here we are. It's been awesome. Yeah. Just like I said yesterday, we don't get enough time together anymore. It's like a couple times a year if we're lucky now. Yeah. Distance and business and families, but as long as we make a priority to hang out, life is good. Life is good. It's 14 boot. It's not fine then. No, it's a size 14 Hanwag. And that track is too big for it. My naked eye spotted him from up there at 800 yards, 900 yards. We were up right there. Hey, bear. <clears throat> bear. Duck all that out. Fresh Just... I've been around a lot of black bears. I have no qualms about being around bears. But this is different. It's like that track is two of my foot tracks. Giant feet. Just, it's different. And that's all fresh since. I spotted that bear like oh, three hours ago, four hours ago. Oh, he's somewhere in this flat.
Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>